So here at the Novacentrix booth here at the Print Electronics Europe. So how's it been since in the last six months? So in the last six months, we've definitely seen uh, the continuation of what I would say are the, the couple of major trends in the print electronics space right now. Uh, if there was one key word, I would say it's hybrids. Uh, hybrids, uh, as it applies to equipment combinations, Novacentrix continues to work with a variety of companies to produce integrated tools that incorporate uh, perhaps different types of deposition, uh, different types of post printing processes, and then also the Pulse Forge photonic curing tools because we're finding that uh, combining the capabilities is really what the customers are looking for. Uh, I'll also say hybrids is a, uh, is a topic on the application side. So uh, someday I think there will be complete products that are produced 100% uh, by uh, printing. But right now we're looking at hybrids, which are produced in part by printing, but then also combining electrical components that are more traditional. Uh, uh, components, resistors, capacitors, uh, silicon logic, uh, but also the technologies around combining these. How do these traditional electronics components combine with printed components? And it can be uh, sometimes uh, surprisingly simple things like interconnects, how do we get electrical contact and signal uh, transfer between these components? all the way to how do we, as a, as a combined structure, combine these in a flexible or in some kind of curved format that really is going to open the doors for product designers to take the best advantage of what these new technologies offer. So uh, you, you're not only making those two machines, you're, making, you're doing a bunch of other things in the company. Right, we're doing a lot of things. Um, Typically at, at a trade show, uh, we'll have one of the larger booths just because we're involved in so many different areas of, of, of product. Uh, and this comes back to the history of the company starting as a nanomaterials company in 1999. We still produce, we still offer nanomaterials. Uh, typically right now that's predominantly silver and aluminum. Uh, and we, we ship dispersions and, uh, and even dry powders of, of nanomaterials. And more information about that can be found on our website. But we also offer electrically conductive inks. I'm standing in front of banners that are talking about some of our electrically conductive inks. We offer silver, we offer copper. Uh, we also partner with uh, companies like DuPont, uh, which is, of course, an inks company. And uh, uh, we say have this uh, PE510 product, uh, which is a photonic copper. And it's designed for processing with the electrically, uh, with, with the photonic curing tools, the Pulse Forge photonic curing tools. And then, of course, we have the equipment. Uh, I talked a little bit earlier about hybridizing equipment is one of the trends happening right now. Uh, and this applies even internally at Novacentric. So we now offer our Pulse Forge tools in a standalone sort of sheet to sheet configuration. We also offer the equipment integrated into roll to roll web handling equipment. So that's something that if a customer has that need, then we can help them uh, with capabilities inside our organization. Or we can also pair them with groups that we work with uh, outside of our organization, uh, other companies, other, other uh, organizations, to help, that, to help get them the equipment capabilities that will allow their project plans to be successful. So you can partner with some of the other guys around the conference and you can uh, deliver products and are uh, people very hungry for uh, things to move fast and getting new technologies implemented? Yeah, exactly. Are you able so, to keep up with demand? Yeah, and that's, that's a great point. Uh, because this is an emerging technology space, very few of the customers come to us understanding initially what their exact needs are. So we help them through the development process understand really what their product requirements are. They may come to us understanding what a, a production requirement is. They know they need to get so many units per month or per year uh, to make their economics work out right. They have a business plan of what they're trying to achieve, but they don't necessarily have the, the nuts and bolts of that plan or really understand uh, the details of that. But that's okay. That's our expertise. Uh, that's our technical expertise. And that's the benefit of our networking in this community and the participation that we've had for many years now. We understand uh, which of the deposition companies uh, may be effective for meeting their needs, which of the material integrating companies, uh, material 
handling integrating companies may be uh, uh, suitable for that. And these are relationships that we have uh, here at the conference in Berlin and, and participants that are not here at the conference in, in Berlin. And, and we can help the customers to, to make these connections and, and really help them to be successful. So there's a lot of, uh, the, the, whole, the whole world needs to adapt to this new technology, printer electronics, right? It is. Uh, and Everybody needs to think about it. Yeah, this is a topic that affects so many different applications. Uh, certainly any kind of electronics application, ranging from consumer electronics, uh, wearable, electro uh, wearable uh, uh, functional garments is something that's continued to be a, a, a trend in the news. And we see that here at the conference as well, that there are many types of uh, jackets and shirts and t-shirts and pants and uh, 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 clothes, right? Uh, companies like Clothing Plus, which is working with DuPonts again, uh, but there are other companies here. Uh, uh, Banishy won the award uh, yesterday for having a really innovative physiological sensing uh, technology. Uh, uh, it's exciting to see that, and one of the things this conference does is it brings together technology companies like Novacentrix along with uh, garment design uh, companies to, f to, to bring these technologies together. Uh, we're also collaborating with Chitemsa, which is a Spanish uh, nonprofit research organization just outside of Barcelona, which is a beautiful location, by the way. Uh, and they're here with us in our booth, highlighting some of the capabilities that they have. So really, uh, it comes back to collaborating, it comes back to hybridizing technologies, and it comes back to uh, thinking creatively for, for these problems. But uh, these are applications which are going to impact the planet. Uh, electronics, clothing, uh, energy storage, and energy generation are all being impacted by technologies that are coming out of this print electronic space, even if those applications are not yet flexible, if they're not yet conformal. There are incremental steps being taken in all of those areas that are going to impact and be prevalent in the lives of us, uh, uh, of all of us. So you positioned uh, right there where people try to get ideas into R&D, into real mass production. Exactly. So as an emerging technology space, uh, this is still early. So while there are some examples that are already in production, some we can talk about, most we're not able to talk about due to confidentiality. We also are working very closely with early stage R&D folks. Some of these are startup companies that have some early concepts on products that they think uh, they have opportunities for in the market. We certainly want to help them by bringing our technology expertise to, to bear. Uh, but we also work closely with R&D groups uh, in a more formal and organized way in universities, in nonprofit labs that may have uh, sponsored research opportunities, or they may have just basic science that they're trying to understand that will in turn down the road enable these applications. There's science happening, there's IP being generated, uh, uh, there's a lot of undergraduate and graduate uh, research, level research happening in these areas to, to characterize some of the fundamentals still in the space that will then get leveraged into products in the future. And training all the different people to understand how to use their machines and uh, I guess you busy, busy, <laughs> yeah. more and more busy. Yeah, so. And, uh, how, how do you, I guess you need to, I don't know, expand or hire? Or? Right, right. So. Uh, so one of the exciting uh, uh, things that's happening is as more people uh, get exposure and become aware of these technologies, that does put us in a position of, uh, uh, reach, be, of, of having an opportunity to reach out to, to more people as customers and as advocates. We certainly encourage advocates as well as, 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 as direct transactional customers, right? Uh, so we routinely send our applications engineers uh, and other, other team members to, to locations around the world, certainly throughout Asia, throughout Europe, of course throughout the U.S. where we're based, uh, to, to give seminars, to uh, help in their, uh, in, in, their, in their labs or in their, in their workspaces to understand in general how print electronics might affect them or impact their work but also very specifically our products, our technologies, our metal on conductive inks, our PCAM conductive inks, our pulse forge photonic carrying tools, uh, and how to utilize those products to help our advocates and our customers move their projects forward. So this uh, trade show has been good? Uh, Print Electronics uh, Europe here in Berlin in 2015 is a tremendous event. 
Uh, every year this is a tremendous event, somehow it keeps getting better. Uh, as more and more and more people come into the space, uh, more of the work is, is moving into the commercial stage, and this usually takes some years uh, as technologies move out of the lab into a factory. Uh, and it's also interesting as uh, uh, more people inside a, uh, a client organization get involved with us. So early on in, in engagement, it's the early stage uh, concepts team, right, that leads into the R&D, that develops the science. But as you move uh, along in with our customers in their product development process, it becomes operations people, production people, quality assurance people, manufacturing people, right? And so we're helping to to meet their needs with our equipment and our materials as well. Uh, and so this conference uh, this year, we're seeing uh, 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 participants in all levels of customer organizations come to us. It's still predominantly the earlier stage R&D, uh, and it's still predominantly the early stage pilot manufacturing. Uh, but over time, what we've seen is the, uh, the percentage of people that are working through on the, the production side continues to grow, and we'll have those discussions here, but importantly, we'll develop initial relationships so that those discussions can continue after the meeting when we're in our own, uh, back in our own offices.